We'll just grab a bunch of stems like that, mm -hmm. and I just pull them like that. Mm -hmm. That way I get the full stem and everything. Yeah, yeah, I don't particularly care for the full stem uh -huh. myself. I kind of thought they were pretty tasty myself, mm -hmm. so. I'm pulling. Uh-huh. Guess what? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I like this stuff. Mm -hmm. It is very good. Mm. If you don't know about Claytonia, you ought to find out. Boy, you got to get into it. Yep. It's worthy. And see those carrots? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I want you to see the carrot. Can you see the carrots, folks? Right there and there. They're they're, they're small, but. Like Boy, one last good. night was about five inches long. Yeah. And I don't know if that's a function of hitting a hard spot in the dirt or what. I think it's a function of their age. They weren't distorted in shape. Yeah, but they sure were delicious, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Very yummy. So, well, I, you know, this Claytonia is growing well enough that maybe we don't need to put in another raw Claytonia. Maybe we don't. I mean, you know, with the one new one over there. Mm -hmm. What would we plant instead? I don't know. Um, I intend to give you a couple of videos this weekend. One, I wanted you to see the garden. This is February 4th. We've now done through January and into February. We do not know what next year will be like. But we've got some ideas on what things we do want to plant more of, what things we want to plant less of. Um... You know, the top of this soil looks kind of dry. Yeah. And if it was 80, it probably is. I probably need to water again. Yeah, you probably do. And we're above freezing. I wonder if I put the hoses out into the sun, if they would thaw, that I could actually... I think I think you could. Fill these two... Fill the tanks up. Yeah, well, we've used one full tank. Mm hmm That's 55. It's still got a little ice in it. And the other tank I just started to use this last time. Oh, okay. Oh, a spider. Hmm. And isn't it fun just to be able to do this in February? It is. You know, I mean, the food is great. I tell it, people it, at work that they don't believe me. And it's, well, send them to YouTube. Mm, that's true. So they can see the real Pamela. That's right. Oops. Losing a little of my dirt there, honey. Oh, I'll put it back in. <laughs> yeah, I'm so finicky, and you, you just do things. I know. It's all right. It's good. It's a good combination. That's right. There's a worm, look. Really? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Oh. Wormy, wormy, wormy. I dropped anything. Hey, Mr. Worm, we can go fishing. <laughs> in the ice pond. Yeah. Oh, look. Here's a spider. Hanging down beside her. Got him. Sorry, Spider. You don't have to kill spiders. Yeah, I know. Don't you wonder where the toad is? Yeah, I do. Is there any sense of... Um, it could be buried in here. Things somewhere. been eating at all? I, I don't have like a sense insects? of that. I mean, yeah, I, I think most everything that I've seen that has been eaten is... Perhaps stuff that was eaten before? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's an airplane or if it's just snowmobiles out there on the lake. Sounds like a plane. And listen to the birds. That looks better. So... What do we want more of in the spring? I mean, we got a couple rows of lettuce. We got a patch of lettuce over here. Um, we got one Claytonia. Um, so, I guess we'll I have to look if you at our could list. Get a leap on carrots in here, or if this is the wrong. Well, that's to we do did it. not put carrots in. No, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. I think it's a good idea. And you know what? I'm thinking we could put two rows of carrots in there. Yeah, we could. We could, definitely. We're getting our spacing down a little better. Yeah, of course, we're not recording it other than on the recorder here. Look uh, at the cute little arugulas. 
We know see. they'll grow up to be big, peppery things. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring any scissors out. You need scissors for? Well, I was going to take off the dead uh, Swiss chard leaves. Oh, okay. Sometimes they're kind of hard just to tear off without tearing the whole plant. So I've been trying to say, and I'll, I'll get it out now, mm -hmm. that we're going to give you another video this week about... Because it's February, and the job in February for us is to make pots out of newspaper. So yes. we kind of recycle our newspaper. And granted, not many people, you know, have newspapers anymore because there aren't very many newspapers. But I do. you can collect them from your neighbors and things. And we actually make pots. We use two pieces of tape along with newspaper. Now we can... We're going to show you that. We'll show you the whole process. It's something that Pam found on the internet. I mean, she's my research lady. She's very good at that. And um, so there's a whole folding process. And then this is, she started this last year. And that's what we used under the cold frames to get a jump on our outside gardens. Um, <clears throat> so that's another one I want to show you. Uh, it's the only thing that we've thought of that we have to do in February. Um, I, I, you know, we're still working up. What I did is I said to Pam, you know, now we got to move our gardening to farming. And, and what that means for me is a farmer says, okay, it's the beginning of March. I got to go out and, you know, turn the field over. Uh, you know, it's the middle of March. I got to plant such and such, so many rows of this and so many rows of that. And they actually have like a schedule, I believe. So what we're trying to do uh, is work up a schedule because we're also, I think we've agreed that we're going to try beekeeping. And that's going to have a bunch of time associated with it, plus a lot of the brain power. You know, it takes a lot of thinking to, it, it's not my high suit, uh, organize it. And it's sort of my goofy way of organizing things, which is not normal. But that's okay. Anyhow, um, so we have February down for pots, making pots, and then we have a whole planting schedule in March uh, on into April <clears throat> when we have to get them in the cold, uh, the cold frames. Yes, this is cold tunnel. Those are cold frames, my Quonset huts. Uh, we do have to go inspect the 3x3 three three to see. I'm sure it's dry and needs water. Uh, we have to see if the thing's open. It should have opened. And if it's not opening, then that means I have not taken care of uh, the top properly and the cylinder that opens it up and that i got to work with that to see what's the matter. Anyhow, it's now 82 in here. Holy moly. So, folks, I'm just going to sign off now. Before I sign off, I, I do want to show you that there is some snow, but for February... This is pretty, like, ridiculous, okay? Now, we showed you what the snow was before. Ooh, and it's 36 out here. See, it, it, we've really had a melt going on. I'm sure you can see the moisture inside the tunnel. And that's why it's so hot and humid in there. Now, just an update on compost pile. Now, that was the full one. It's still kind of frozen. You'll see I took the front off of it. And the reason I took the front off is so that the sun could beat on it more. When I have that front piece on there in the wintertime, uh, the sun really doesn't get to it. And I've been trying to take from the front and pile it up on top and the back so that I could get some air in so the composting could go on. Now, this is the one that we started uh, actually when that other one was full. So this is almost a winter compost pile. Now, I've been turning this with some frequency. And right now, you see how wet it is. I turned a little bit of it this morning. Uh, I'm going to turn more. What I'm trying to do is to go from the back to the front because this pile is small enough. Uh, and get some air in there. And try to get as much down to the bottom as I can. Um, so that the composting process goes on. I mean, it does look, you know, I've put some leaves in there. I put some grass in there. Uh, but, you know, you can smell it. And that's not necessarily a good thing. So, anyway. I think that's a robin. Oh, that's a cardinal. Oh, it's so good to hear birds. 
And you can see the pond is still frozen, but it's a wet frozen. Don't know how thick that is. A lot of the snow has gone. Oh well. Bye. Say bye bye, Pam. Oh, yeah, it's cold out here, huh, babe? Actually, it feels very good. It really does.